statements made during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, Relief, eating well, and supplementation for when you don't. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition. Welcome to the show. You are dialed into Let's Talk Nutrition. Glad that uh, you were able to come by today for however long you can stay. We're on, you know, we're on here for a while and, uh, I'm happy to be here with you. Hope your day's going well and uh, everything is uh, as best as it can be, right? All things considered. And uh, Dr. Marita's show will be along and she'll be on the show. She hasn't been on for a while, so we'll catch up with her. And um, as usual, I always have something on the menu and it's... Uh, it's always fresh. It's organic, non-GMO, <laughs> uh, right? Good manufacturing practices, no additives, no colorings, no preservatives. It's fresh. We're fresh. <laughs> that's an expression that's used that th these days, right? They say really fresh. Those hip-hop kids. Right. And back in the day, fresh meant, you know, a guy was... Good Step, hygiene. No, no, man. He was stepping over the brown bounds. He was being fresh with, he was, you know, you know what I mean. That's the fresh I'm used to hearing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm say, sure you're getting fresh, little guy. I'm sure. So we're fresh and wholesome. We try to be anyway. With all of our, there's always room for improvement. So I'm just saying. Eight seven seven eight nine seven eight two five five is a toll free number. You can call that anytime you want. If you listen to this show even a little bit, you 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 catch on. You've probably caught on that there are certain themes that I keep repeating and repeating and repeating because I know that repetition is the way is a is a key strategy in learning. It is one of the primary principles by which we learn. It's repetition, and you hear you hear me often talk about the importance of certain lifestyle behaviors and practices. And one is sleep. Everybody knows, I mean, you don't sleep, you don't feel good. We all know this. And there's a, believe me, the science is, there is a bunch of science to support the importance of sleep. And um, I, I could go, I could do, four weeks of shows just talking about that particular lifestyle dimension. And yet another study came out. I was trend. It's trending. And it, uh, it comes from the obesity society. Yes, there is such an outfit. And they're talking about how even just one night, one night of poor sleep, they said is equal to six months of being on a high fat diet. Seriously, really? Okay, let's find out. This new research, as I said, is, is reporting that one night of sleep deprivation is equivalent to six months on a high fat diet and could impair, just like a high fat diet will, so will this sleep deprivation of one night impair insulin sensitivity to a similar extent or kind. Demonstrating, they said, the importance of a good night's sleep on health. Now, most people, that this would go by, I mean, you wouldn't know, you know, you have a bad night of sleep, 
two nights, maybe you maybe you're suffering from insomnia, and there's more than you're you're now chronically caught up in this, and you wouldn't know that your insulin sensitivity is being affected. And I keep saying on this show, if you want to age successfully, you need to manage your blood glucose and insulin levels. It is a fundamental key to aging successfully. I don't care what age you are. And then this was an experiment and they used dogs. You're saying, does this apply to humans? Well, it can extrapolate to humans. And the study was co conducted by researchers, uh, uh, Dr. Broussard and Dr. Broussard's colleagues from Cedars Sinai Medical Center in LA, in Los Angeles. And they used, as I said, a canine model to examine whether sleep deprivation and a high fat diet will affect insulin sensitivity in similar ways. Well, sure enough, it did. And you can't make this up. So here, why is insulin so important? and insulin sensitivity. When your body becomes insensitive to the insulin or otherwise insulin resistant, you need to do what? Keep producing more insulin to keep the blood sugar stable. The bi Biologically speaking, the body does not like to have a lot of blood glucose coursing through the bloodstream on a continue in a, some sort of chronic way, it doesn't like it. So, it, what what does the pancreas do? As soon as blood glucose gets into the bloodstream, the pancreas gets the signal from the brain to release insulin. The insulin picks up those blood glucose molecules, transports them to the cell. Then the insulin, like a like a key into a lock, opens up the cell, allows the blood glucose, the sugar, to go into the cell, and then the mitochondria metabolize it. It gets, it gets burned. Well, turns out that if you have too much insulin and otherwise, or otherwise you're eating a diet that has these carbs that were, where there's, you know, they have, you're producing, you're, you're causing a lot of glucose to go into the bloodstream all the time. The cells become insensitive to the insulin because it's been so overexposed to the insulin. It's, a, it's a, sort of paradoxical, isn't it? And this is what eventually will lead to type 2 diabetes. It's just too much sugar in your bloodstream. And the reason, and now Dr. Broussard said that, quote, research has shown that sleep deficiency and a high-fat diet both lead to impaired insulin sensitivity. But it was previously unknown, Dr. Broussard said, which leads to more severe insulin resistance. Now, that close quote. This business about a high-fat diet, I've been, I've on, I'm on record. I don't give a damn what these other experts are saying about high-fat diets. They, they've let high-fat diets off the hook in order to make the point that it's the refined processed carbohydrate foods that are, are the problem. These are not mutually exclusive problems. And I don't know why some of these experts insist on doing this. I don't get it. it, it it's conveying the wrong message. A diet that's high in the wrong kinds of fats is going to get you into a lot of trouble. And I can defend this pretty robustly. There's, I mean, I got a lot of research to support my, my position here. They say, oh, don't worry about the fat. Don't worry about the fat. Yes, you do have to worry about the fat. Dr. Broussard went on to say, our study suggests that one night of total sleep deprivation may be detrimental to insulin sensitivity as six months on a high-fat diet. How he calculated that, I have no clue. But nevertheless, he said, this research demonstrates the importance of adequate sleep and maintaining blood sugar levels and reducing, for me reducing risk for metabolic diseases like, he should say, such as obesity and diabetes, close quote. I keep, I edit as I go along. <laughs> the quote, I can't help it. That's the teacher coming out. This is pretty amazing. <clears throat> he does give a clue as to how they figured out how one night of sleep deprivation is equivalent 
to six months of a high fat diet. I'll come back. I'll share that with you. And then I'll tell you about a study. <clears throat> One of the consequences of living alone, you know, and I live alone. Fortunately, I don't experience this consequence. And I know a lot of people that live alone and they fit right into this story like nobody's business. And it's not good. I'll tell you about that. You are listening to Let's Talk Nutrition, coast to coast. Still looking for your fountain of youth? It's Xenia. Look no further than the beauty aisle of your favorite health and nutrition store. Xenia is the newest product from Form Essentials, the brand that brought you solace. So you know it's filled with the highest quality ingredients. Many cosmetic products only treat topically, while Xenia addresses aging and hair loss from within. Formulated to support the growth of radiant hair, skin, and nails, Xenia is sure to help you turn back the hands of time and assist you in aging gracefully. Xenia provides a spectrum of key vitamins and other evidence-based natural ingredients such as alpha lipoic acid, biotin, collagen, and elastin peptides, all combined in one capsule for your convenience. By promoting beauty from the inside out, you are strengthening your cells and creating a lasting enhancement to your natural beauty. Xenia fits into your daily routine and can be taken to boost your current cosmetic products. Available now at leading health and nutrition stores. Ask for Xenia by name. Start taking Xenia hair, skin, and nails today and get ready to look amazing. Energy, energy, and more energy. Everyone needs it. But did you know you can get the energy you need quick through the powers of wild forest extracts? Wild chaga and birch bark were a secret source of energy and power for Russian athletes years ago, making them unbeatable. Now you too can experience real energy and power like you've never dreamed possible. Wild chaga is the world's top source of SOD, superoxide dismutase, that critical enzyme that blocks the aging process and keeps your cells healthy. Wild birch extract is the world's top source of betulin, a natural sterile needed by every cell of the body and healthy cells mean a healthy you and a more powerful one too chaga birch bark is also good for your heart healthy cholesterol and even helps build healthy arteries no wonder it's known as the king of all herbs so take your chaga charge tea with wild birch bark every day and chaga max capsules from north american herb and spice and get that maximum energy you need also available in liquid as chago power drops these statements have not been evaluated by the food and drug administration these products are not intended to diagnose treat cure or prevent any disease Hi, I'm Jordan Rubin, founder and CEO of Garden of Life. Oceans 3 was created with a simple premise in mind. Develop a line of premium omega-3 fish oil formulations that met or exceeded the market leader in quality. And then go beyond omega-3 by providing amplified benefits and value to the consumer. Oceans 3 contains ultra-pure, high-potency fish oil, along with astaxanthin and fucoxanthin. Each of these ingredients, when taken individually, have superb benefits. When they are combined into the exciting compound omegaxanthin, they work synergistically to amplify their already amazing benefits. In addition to the synergy of omegaxanthin, Oceans 3 offers unrivaled purity and greater value than the leading omega-3 fish oils available today, making the Oceans 3 family of products the best choice for anyone looking to add a healthy dose of omega-3 fats and a giant dose of extraordinary health to their lives. When you're passionate about your health, that passion leads to the knowledge that exercise and a healthy diet are not always enough. Sometimes you need the extra nutritional boost that only supplements can provide. If you are looking for the leading national brands of vitamins, supplements, health, and beauty, weight loss, or sports nutrition products, look no further than Vitamin Discount Center. Voted Best Independent Chain by Vitamin Retailer Magazine, Vitamin Discount Center has been a trusted and valuable nutrition resource to the Tampa Bay area for over 15 years. With daily savings up to 50%, Vitamin and Discount Center offers the best prices on the highest quality nutritional supplements. Not only will you find unbeatable value, your visit includes access to a staff educated on the application of products to help equip you with the products and information you need to proactively improve your health. To locate the store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com as well as access to articles on popular health topics, promotions, events, and thousands of products to shop from right at home. Your search for an affordable solution to better health is finally over. Vitamin Discount Center. For life for less.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Form Essentials, makers of the Sleep Aid Solace. Now introducing Zinnia for healthy hair, skin, and nails. Garden of Life, empowering extraordinary health. Canavest, from seed to shelf. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Nature's Dynamics, garden to gummy supplements made by dad. Natural factors, where great health begins. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition, talking to my producer. I'm trying to. Anyway, uh, glad that you're here. I'm glad to be here with you. Reporting on this, what I was, what I meant, what I was referring to, I was talking to my producer and it was like, you know, register. There was no register. I mean, are you with, are you here today? Are we're, you here? Are you here? Live. Are you live? Are you alive? We're live. Are you alive? I have no pulse. Oh, okay. I'm dead. All right. Well, I'll try to help you. Um, did you get a good night's sleep? Do you hear I'm reporting on this study? Study one night, one night of sleep deprivation is equivalent to eating a high fat diet for six months. Did you lose sleep last night or something? Uh, if you're gonna go you off okay? of that chart, then I've lost you, about okay. four years. All right, you're in trouble. Big well, trouble. this study is interesting. Here's what they, this is what they did. It was a, it was a canine study. They used dogs in a study and they measured the insulin sensitivity in these eight dogs before and after a diet induced, diet induced obesity. Prior to the high fat feeding, the researchers used IV glucose tolerance tests to measure the insulin sen sensitivity in the dogs that had one night of sleep deprivation compared results to dogs that had a normal, a normal night's sleep. Then the dogs were fed a high-fat diet for six months, at which point they were tested again. Prior to the high-fat diet, one night of sleep deprivation reduced insulin sensitivity by 33%. This was similar to the reduction caused by high-fat diet alone, which was 21%. Once the dogs had impaired insulin sensitivity, they said, from the high-fat diet, one night of sleep deprivation did not further impair the insulin sensitivity, close quote. So that's why they said that one night of sleep deprivation and six months of a high-fat diet both reduced insulin sensitivity by a, similar, by a similar degree, close quote. That's amazing. Of course, you hear the commercial on this show for Solus, S-O-L-U-S, which is a, a sleep and relaxation aid, been on the market seven years and does apparently very, very well with, with those who use it. Go to take solace, take S-O-L-U-S dot com and learn more about that particular sleep and relaxation aid. Stephen is married, so he doesn't live alone. You're, you don't live alone. I do. Living alone can be perilous. Uh, not because you may be robbed and you're all there by yourself, but <laughs> this study comes out of uh, Queensland, Queensland University of Technology. Of course, that would be in Australia. And it caught my eye because I do live alone. I thought, okay, living alone, let me see what this is about. And apparently, living alone puts people in some nutritional peril. They said that people who live alone tend to have unhealthy diets that lack the key nutritional, uh, the, key, the foods that would have all the nutritional requirements that they would need. The study, uh, the researchers in the study reported inadequate cooking skills, no partner to go shopping with, and the increasing cost of food and a lack of motivation to cook were among the reasons people who live alone had different eating practices. Let me repeat that list. Let me see. Inadequate cooking skills. I don't, I have adequate cooking skills. They're better than adequate. No partner to go shopping with. Well, well. What, you need somebody to hold your hand? Go to go shopping. 
The increasing cost of food, I get that, no doubt. A lack of motivation to cook. I'm, I am motivated to cook because I know the consequences of eating out, not cooking for yourself. I mean, if nutrition is the first principle of health, it seems to me you better get busy and learn how to cook Put on your, your big boy britches and go to the store by yourself. <laughs> I mean, what's the matter? You can't go to the store by yourself. What's some, What, are you kidding me? And get motivated to cook. Because I know the consequences of a, of a horrible diet day in and day out. I, I know the research, not because I live it. And my mother taught me how to cook. And I was, I when I was a teenager, I worked. I worked for IHOP. I was a, sh a cook at IHOP. Get out of here. I was. That's amazing. Yes, sir. I never figured that. Had to, you had to get up early in the morning, too. All the prep work, you get yeah. up like 4 o'clock in the morning to get, you know, not an easy gig. So living alone is perilous. Inadequate cooking skills, no partner to go shopping with. What have moms been doing for decades? They've been going shopping by themselves and sometimes having to to take the children, and they're going to wait for Mr. to come home? Please, come on now. Men living alone were more likely to have a poor diet than women. I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> that one makes sense right there. You know what's ironic about this? There are some people who believe that men are better chefs than women. I don't necessarily agree with that, but... There's some who believe that, that men make for better chefs. That's If that's if it were true, I don't think it is. But if it were, wouldn't that be, what an irony. They're better cooks than women, but most men don't cook. Well, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure not to dog men, but most of them think they are better cooks, being that they kind of like try to direct traffic while yeah, well, their wife is in the kitchen we all suffer doing from, the work. We all suffer from delusions. Yeah. You are listening to Let's Talk Nutrition. We'll be right back. We'll talk some more about standing, sitting, and whatnot. When your alarm goes off, do you jump out of bed with excitement? Or does it take multiple alarms, a few snooze buttons, or a morning caffeine fix to get you going? These habits and daily stress cause a vicious cycle in which sleep becomes increasingly elusive. In fact, 54% of Americans report struggles to fall or stay asleep. For a better night's rest, look no further than Solace, an all-natural dietary supplement that supports healthy sleep and relaxation so you get the rest you need to wake up clear-eyed, alert, and ready for the day. Solace has given thousands a better night's rest and the power to take back their mornings while enjoying the day ahead of them. Solace is formulated with non-addictive, scientifically proven, all-natural ingredients that support sleep and relaxation, such as melatonin, tryptophan, and 5-HTP. For more information or to order Solace, visit TakeSolace.com. Solace, for healthy sleep naturally. Looking for the perfect complement to your beauty regimen? Try Form Essentials Zinnia. The finest of its kind, Zinnia offers twice as much biotin as other formulas, which has proven to unlock the vibrancy in even the dullest of hair, skin, and nails. Zinnia breaks through and rejuvenates cells internally, helping you achieve the allure of effortless beauty. Reviving your hair, skin, and nails has never been easier. This essential blend of biotin, alpha-lipoic, and hyaluronic acid, collagen, and vitamin C creates lasting enhancements to your natural good looks. Don't go on wondering. You're worth the results. This combination of ingredients can only be found in Zinnia. Pamper yourself with a proven bit of affordable luxury and start looking your best. Ask for Zinnia by name at your nearest vitamin retailer to begin your journey to restored nails, head-turning hair, and radiant skin today. For more information, visit formessentials.com.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Nubian Heritage. Humble beginnings, advancing wellness, never tested on animals. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Country Life, a leader and authority in natural health and nutrition. Now Foods, our products work. Nordic Naturals, pure and great tasting omega oils. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Well, I guess living alone is dangerous, not only because you can burn down the house, but apparently you don't eat right. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. This is amazing. You also don't go to bed on time. That's probably true. You need someone to tell you, hey, it's time for bed. Go to bed. Yeah, I think so. This study was published in Nutrition Reviews. Kind of interesting. By the way, the number of people who live alone in the developed world is increasing. In 2010, 23% of households in Australia, for example, where the study was done, were people who lived alone. Where These were lone person households. Hmm. One of the researchers in the study said that this research, the research suggests living alone may represent a barrier to healthy eating that is related to the cultural and social roles of food and cooking. For example, a lack of motivation and enjoyment in cooking and or eating alone often lead to people preparing simply simple or ready-made meals lacking any nutrients. What's popular these days is these ready, uh, ready-made meals and some purport to be healthy. Some, and I've looked at some of them. In fact, one of my colleagues here at the station today just had a shipment brought in. I looked at it. What's interesting about this concept is they provide the ingredients. You still have to add things and you still have to cook it. You just don't warm it up, which is interesting. Looked pretty healthy though. That's not the normal stuff that you would find in the Typically cooler, not. Right? Typically not. Typically it's already prepared. All you do is stick it in the oven or microwave and you're good to go. But this is a little different concept. I'll get, I'll, in the second portion of the show, I'll talk about the standing and exercise, standing, sitting exercise study. My guest is Dr. Marita Show. She's an educator for Natural Factors and uh, been a regular guest on my show for a good while. She hasn't been on the show for a while. I'm glad she's back. Uh, Dr. Show, do you like to cook? I love it. Do you really? Are you a good cook? I do. Are you a good cook? Um, I, th- I think I'm a really good cook, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who taught you to cook? Um, my mom's actually quite an amazing cook. Yeah. So was, yeah. she taught me a lot. Mm-hmm. And then living, you know, um, away from home while I was in university and college, kind of had to teach myself how to cook. <laughs> I know. You, you do, don't you? Um, I don't know. Uh, let me uh, – There's. this is interesting – in terms of gender, I know you didn't come on here. This is not a cooking show, but, you know, you know how I like to implicate you in things and get you in trouble. <laughs> um, there's some, the, the, the uh, industry, the, the chefs, there are more male chefs than women. The, 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 the data are clear on that. And then there are some who believe that men are better chefs than women. I don't buy that. I don't believe that. I think women are better multitaskers. I think they can be creative I'm just as much as men can be. I'm, I mean, I just don't buy that. But nevertheless, do you think men or women make for, which one makes for a better chef or do you don't think there's a difference? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I don't know that there's a very, like a very big difference. I mean, I have, I know um, I have a lot of friends that have husbands that are incredible cooks they love being in the kitchen they love cooking and then you know i also have a lot of friends where both husband and wife like they're both great cooks so i can't say that um in my group of friends or even when i look at my patients there's one gender that stands out more than the other well you know what's ironic here in the in the world in the restaurant world there have been a number of studies like, for example, I'm looking at one, I was reading one called A Sociological Study of Why So Few Women Chefs in Restaurant Kitchens. What's so ironic is that the ind- the research that I've looked at indicates that there is a, that the industry is woefully inadequate with women working as chefs. 
But yet at home, I think in most households across this country and other world in other parts of the world too, who does most of the cooking? <laughs> the women. Women. So what is you know the the I I don't know. I mean, I guess sexism is alive and well. Discrimination is alive and well, even in the restaurant business. I don't know why there's so few women, as this study suggests, and others in that industry. I I just don't get it. I, it's I, I know that that's not necessarily a health issue, but it is a health issue with respect to women and how women are treated, in my opinion, Doctor Show. You know what I have noticed though, because I um I spend a lot of time um online looking at different food blogs yes and every food blog and these are usually um you know they could be nutritionists or they could be like stay-at-home moms that have just sort of taken on like this really um big interest in cooking um i've noticed and i mean i have probably 10 20 food blogs that i you know visit on a regular basis wow. they're all women they're women yeah yeah, because they have the patience and the time to, to do that. I mean, not the time, but the patience. They'll, they'll take the time to do that kind of work. I mean, to, to share that. It's interesting, isn't it? That's not an accident, mm-hmm. I don't think. I don't think that's an accident. Mm-hmm. You know what I think? I, this is a little self-disclosure. When I was a little boy, my sister, I played with her toys just as much as she played with mine. She had a dollhouse and all that. I, she and I used to play with her. She had a, this big dollhouse. We used to move the furniture. I liked doing that that kind of thing. I wasn't a sissy. I was a pretty tough kid, let me tell you. I was a handful in that neighborhood. <laughs> but I like. And she had dishes, and I used to, we used to pretend to cooking and set up the tape. We did all of that as kids, my sister and I. Yeah. We don't do we do that with boys these days? I don't know. My mom encouraged that. What do you think? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, I agree with you. I, it's so funny when you, when you said that is, um, I had the same thing. You know, my dad built me a, a dollhouse when I was, um, a little girl and I have a younger brother and the same thing is we used to, you know, play in the dollhouse and play, you know, house and, and, you know, cook meals and, you know, sort of do that whole make believe. And, um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think there was anything wrong with that. I mean, well, the reason why I bring it up because I know that oftentimes we talk about health biologically, physiologically, chemically, and, and anatomically. I think health and wellness is is a lot about how you're socialized, you know, gender identity, and all of those kinds of very complicated issues. That's part of health and wellness too, Doctor Show, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And the way we, sometimes we raise young boys, I don't know. Um, I, th- I think we should do a little bit better and encourage them, you know, sure, they should be athletes. And, yeah, I get that. And so should young girls. I mean, I don't understand that the, that kind of disparity and girls should be treated one way, boys another. They're children, after all, period. Yeah. Uh, I, will, I, I know I'm a little off course here with you, but I think this is important. You are listening to Let's Talk and Show. You are listening to Dr. Show. You will. She's going to be back. We'll come right back. Exclusively from Natural Factors. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Murray. I'm very excited to have the opportunity to talk with you about PGX, a truly revolutionary natural product that works perfectly to help get at the core issues that make weight loss so difficult. PGX is a clinically proven way to help people to achieve their ideal body weight that is safe and natural. PGX leads to a dramatic reduction in the glycemic index of any food or meal. It also ultimately causes the release of compounds that achieve two important goals in weight loss. One, telling your brain that you're satisfied so you eat less, and two, improving the action of the hormone insulin. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, it's not your fault. You just need the tremendous support that PGX can provide. 
For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, please go to pgx.com. Feeling tired after your meal? Occasional gas, bloating, or indigestion at inopportune times? You may have an enzyme deficiency. Did you know that many common digestive discomforts can be caused by poor digestion? When food isn't completely digested, it begins to ferment in the digestive tract, which may cause uncomfortable symptoms. Digest Gold, America's number one selling enzyme product, offers unparalleled support for your digestive needs. It contains exclusive blends of enzymes optimized to be three times stronger and work more than six times faster than other leading digestive supplements. With just one capsule per meal, Digest Gold offers support to break down carbohydrates, fats, fiber, and protein. Enzymedica products are all natural, vegetarian, contain absolutely no fillers, and are vegan and kosher when possible. You'll find Digest Gold and other Enzymedica products at fine health food stores near you. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. At Nordic Naturals, we know that a commitment to deliver the world's safest, most effective omega oils requires an exceptional process. That's why we manage every step of production from boat to bottle. That includes sustainably sourcing wild-caught fish from well-managed fisheries. It means using state-of-the-art equipment and technology at our manufacturing plant in Arctic Norway. Nordic Naturals bottles and encapsulates our omega-3s at our own facility and carefully ships products from our eco-friendly headquarters in California. The result? Nordic Naturals products have received more than 40 awards for taste, innovation, and product excellence. You can trust the quality of Nordic Naturals products and know you're getting all the health benefits omega-3 fish oils offer. Nordic Naturals high quality, great tasting omega-3s make staying healthy easier for you and your family. When choosing an omega-3 fish oil product, choose the number one fish oil in the U.S. Choose Nordic Naturals. Available at natural product retailers or online at nordicnaturals.com. Are you tired of taking vitamin pills or powders? How about gummy vitamins with high fructose, corn syrup, or coloring? Finally, you have a choice with Nature's Dynamic Whole Food Gummy Supplements and Probiotics made by a dad. Imagine getting benefits of your garden in a delicious gummy supplement. Nature's Dynamics utilizes organic, plant-based vitamin and mineral sources with non-GMO, gluten, soy, and dairy-free ingredients in a delicious gummy for the whole family. Nature's Dynamics has berry garden gummies made by a dad, multivitamin, omega-3, and probiotics for kids, body boost joint relief, whole food bone and calcium gummy, whole food immune and vitamin C gummy, whole food omega-3 gummy, be beautiful hair, skin, and nails gummy, prenatal plus gummy, whole food probiotics for digestive support, and body boost energy and wellness multivitamin for him and her in a delicious, easy-to-digest gummy. To learn more about Nature's Dynamics or to find a retailer near you, visit naturesdynamics.com or madebyadad.com. Nature's Dynamics, garden to gummy supplements, made by a dad. Are you waking up each day to the life you have to live or to the life you want to live? Better health shouldn't be left to chance. Smart choices to living longer and stronger include making Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract a part of your daily routine. For years, medical researchers have recommended adding Kyolic to the diet as a powerful tool to enhancing overall heart and immune health. Recent clinical studies at UCLA Medical Center using Kyolic suggest that garlic may slow plaque formation in the arteries and support healthy cholesterol and homocysteine levels. Previous research also shows Kyolic may enhance your immune system defenses. Kyolic is organic, odorless, and the only antioxidant garlic supplement available worldwide. Maintaining a healthier you could extend your life. Your wellness begins with Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract. Available everywhere fine nutritional supplements are sold. Visit Kyolic.com. That's K-Y-O-L-I-C.com. Or call 1-800-421-2998 for a free sample today. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by A. Vogel, Europe's leading brand of herbal medicine. Nutrix Hawaii, more nutrition, better health, purely Hawaiian. Renew Life, the digestive care company. Enzymedica, the enzyme experts. North American Urban Spice, the only oregano oil you can take on a daily basis. Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Dr. Marita show is my guest on the show today. Dr. Show is a naturopathic physician. She has a practice in Canada. And Dr. Show is a very adept 
at this business, let me tell you. And uh, her patients are lucky to have her. We're lucky to have her on the show. I always enjoy speaking with her. I can engage her in whatever I want to talk about. She's not afraid to move from the, we don't have a script. I don't give the guests a script. They don't give me a script. I wouldn't do that. I don't like that. I, I know what she wants to talk about. I have a general idea. <clears throat> Beyond that, we work without a net around here. Dr. Show, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, you have a little boy? Uh, no, I don't have kids yet. Oh, okay. I thought you had, <laughs> I thought you had a little boy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, th that business about raising children, you know? Uh, their relationship with food, their their relationship to the world, all of those things fall in that dimension of wellness. Um, I'm fascinated with that. It's an important part of health. I I like to talk about that on the show because, it, it, you know, it's it's so critical. I I, I get it. And I get a occasion, and I see this all the time when I'm working, whether in Starbucks or someplace like this. One mom, she has a little girl who's just adorable. She's pr the mom's pregnant. She's due in a few weeks, and I watch how she works with her child in the morning, talks to her. They sit together at the table, engages her. You know, watching those kinds of th I'm th thinking, boy, that child is so lucky to have a mom like that. The things that we you know you shouldn't take for granted. I, then other occasions I see somebody come in with a child and the child is running around all over the place and, you know, the parent is totally disconnected from the kid. I'm thinking, where are you, you know? <laughs> what are you doing? You know what I'm saying, yeah. right? It's. It's also um, what I've noticed, you know, when I have a lot of families that come into my office and, you know, often um, nutrition and food is a big concern for them. You know, yes. there's a lot of kids that are picky eaters and, you know, they're not eating enough protein or they're eating too much sugar or, um, but I always try to encourage the, the parents exactly what you said, they like get the child involved in, you know, if you're making a meal you know, involve the child in the cooking, right? Absolutely. Explain what you're doing. Explain the nutrition in the foods, right? Kids are really smart. And they're curious. And, they're curious. they're very curious, yeah. And I think you involve the child or you explain things. Like, kids will pick that up and they, they get it. You know, they're – and then you, you make it sort of a family um, – uh, you know, a family gathering, right? Instead of, you, yeah. know, you know, you often see now everyone sort of like nobody like sits down. Or I think very few people like all sit down as a family at the table. <laughs> at the table, I know it's it's. Yeah. It, I read, like, we TV's did. On, you're eating in front of the TV. Right. Or, you know. I know. I know. It, <laughs> and those things make a difference in how that child will relate to food as the child be, develops. You know, through childhood, oh, adolescence, absolutely. and so on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. I'm so. I, I think it's an important topic. I didn't mean to take you off track, but I I, I know I can always ask you, but because you are a clinician, you you see patients day in and day out. It's not just about biology. It's about behavior. It's about you know uh, other aspects of life that 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 affect our health, wellness, and well being. Right? Oh, absolutely. You know, I think I think as naturopathic doctors, we do a lot of you know, problem solving and motivation and really guiding people. It's not just about, oh, you need to be on this supplement and that supplement. You know, obviously we're, you know, trying to figure out what the root of the problem is, but we're also really trying to encourage and motivate our patients to make better decisions, explain why it's important to eat certain ways, you know, or try to discover what their barriers are and try to make it easier. So in a lot of ways, we're kind of like life or health coaches, you know, as well as, um, uh, as well as doctors, you know, trying to discover what the, the root cause of the disease is, but we're also there to kind of help and guide them in the right direction and motivate them. What I would like to see happen uh, in our country, as well as other places in the world, other countries, is practices, medical practices, where you have allopathic and naturopathic doctors in the same practice. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that will ever happen. But I think that would make for a very unique practice and would serve the patient better. And my, we that's do my. Have, um, there are clinics actually up in Canada that have both medical doctors and naturopathic doctors, like integrative health centers. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm hmm. They're, uh, I thought they had them down in the United States. I don't know. I asked, I'll ask Stephen to check that. They're integrative health centers. Stephen, uh, for those of you who are new to Let's Talk Nutrition, is my uh, technical producer. He works the board and. 
Stephen's been with me for 10 years. We've been working together, and he always um, helps when, uh, when we're on the fly. And now he'll check and see if we have these integrative centers. I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know of one. I've never heard of one. That's not to say that there are, they don't exist. I don't know. Yeah, just a quick Google first hit came up, uh, Integrated Health Center, Best of Denver. So uh, apparently there's some in Denver. Um, looks to be various websites across the country. Arizona's popping up. So, uh, yeah. But even, um, you know, there's the big Dr. Whitaker uh, Integrative Health Center, right? I, I know Dr. I don't know him personally. I know who Dr. Whitaker so is. Dr. Dr. Whitaker is a medical doctor. I know he is. He has a big health center. I think it's in California. Mm-hmm. And he has... Um, well, he's a medical doctor himself, but he has naturopathic doctors on staff. And That's a great idea. I think that just that is such a better approach, you know. Um, you, you merge those two perspectives, philosophies, or paradigms, whatever, whatever you want to call them. I think that would serve people much better in the end. That's at least my opinion. Anyway, I've, I'm rude. How have you been? <laughs> great. <laughs> you doing okay? <laughs> I'm doing really good, yeah. I haven't talked to you for a while. Did I I make you mad or something? (laughs) No, you know what? I had a really um, really busy October. Did you? So I think October just kind of flew by. Yeah. Did you? You don't have (laughs) Halloween. Do you have Halloween? And you don't have Halloween in Canada, do you? Or do you? Yes, we do. (laughs) (laughs) Christmas? You don't have Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) Your Thanksgiving, though, is on a different day. We, we already had our Thanksgiving. We yeah. Thanksgiving um, the second weekend in October. I know yours is coming up, though. End of November, right? Oh, yeah. I love That's one of my favorite holidays, man. Love Thanksgiving. I'm going to go see my daughter and my grandson on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Up in Raleigh. That's nice. Yeah. So when we come back, what did you want to talk about? You know what? I think it's important. Um, there were actually a couple things that, that came up as far as... Um, I don't know if you saw the new study that came out about calcium. I thought that would be really interesting to talk about. Okay, we'll talk about that and whatever else is on your mind, okay? Well, and uh, Natural Factors is uh, the company for whom Dr. Sho uh, consults and works with and is an educator for and so on. That, one of my favorite supplement companies. I always let you know who those are. And Natural Factors is a Canadian company, but they do wonderfully in North America, Canada, and the U.S. Terrific product. One of my favorite, favorite companies. Come back. We'll talk with Dr. Show some more, and we'll talk with you, and we'll just keep talking.
The opinions Statements made during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation for when you don't. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition. Welcome to the show. You aren't out into Let's Talk Nutrition. Thanks for tuning in today. My guest is Dr. Marita Show, and uh, Dr. Show is a uh, naturopathic physician, has a practice in Canada, is an educator for natural factors, and does quite well at it all. And we're always always happy to have her on. Uh, before I be, bring her back on, I just wanted to, I promised I would report on this study about standing and exercise uh, being connected or correlated with the lower odds of, of being obese. This, uh, this study comes out of the American Cancer Society. It was published in um, the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. And in a word, what they found that was that standing seemed to really make a great contribution to moderating or at least limiting the odds of becoming obese. Uh we know that a sed- that sedentary behavior like watching TV and, and, and commuting time and all the things and sitting at the office and sitting on the couch and whatever, doing whatever, uh, has been linked to negative uh, consequences re- relative to a person's health and wellness. What's not so clear, though, as this research has pointed out, whether more time spent standing would provide protective health benefits. So a Dr. Uh, Karim Shuval director of physical activity and nutrition research at the American Cancer Society, um, examined reported standing habits in relation to objectively measured obesity and metabolic risk among 7,000 adult patients at the Cooper Clinic in Dallas, Texas. What they found was an association between standing time and obesity. And they looked at three measures, body mass index, body fat percentage, and waist circumference. And the association between standing and metabolic risk was assessed by metabolic syndrome, which is a cluster of risk factors that I've talked about on the show before that contribute to heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. The study found that among men, standing a quarter of the time was correlated to a 32% reduced likelihood of obesity in terms of body fat percentage. Standing half the time was associated with a 59% reduced likelihood of obesity, but standing more than three quarters of the time was not associated with a lower risk of obesity. That I don't understand. I thought it would even be better yet. In terms of women, standing 25% of the time and three quarters of the time was associated with 35%, uh, excuse me, standing a quarter of the time, half the time, and three quarters of the time was correlated with a 35, 47, and 57% respective reduction in the likelihood of abdominal obesity. So as I always say on this show, look for the small wins. So instead of sitting at that desk all day long, stand up from time to time. Even stand, do your work standing from time to time. It's a small win. It's not a big deal. You don't have to overhaul your whole life. But standing, the thing that I don't understand either 
is at the gym. I watch people. They're on a piece of equipment. They do their they do their um, their set, and then they stay seated in the equipment. No, stand up. And they'll sit there for a minute or two. First of all, two minutes is too long. It should be thirty seconds to a minute, and do the next set. And they sit there, reading. Some bring a book with them or on their phone. No, put that away. Focus. Welcome back, Dr. Show. <laughs> Do you stand? Do you find yourself sitting too much? No, you know what? I run off my feet all day. <laughs> 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 I am. Um, it's so funny. I was talking to one of my colleagues the other day and talking about how I felt so lucky that I don't have, you know, I'm not sitting for eight to ten hours a day because I'm constantly up. I'm getting things. I'm seeing patients out front. I multi multitasking so yeah i rarely just sit for hours on end yeah i know <laughs> you're nice and thin you're in shape you good health uh you walk the talk so you you alluded to a, a study on calcium i i guess it caught your eye what what was it about the study that you thought you needed to share with us today well it was you know what if if people are interested in reading more about it i actually blogged about it um just yesterday and it was an interesting study you know how you know i always get the question patients come in and they'll say you know what's the deal on calcium should i be supplementing with calcium should i be getting more from my diet um, i'm worried about my bones i'm worried about osteoporosis that kind of thing and so you know i'm always i've always been very cautious with um, supplementing higher doses of calcium and I'm always um, very uh, uh, careful with make, making sure that I'm recommending along with calcium, magnesium, vitamin D, K2, um, collagen. I really like the product Biofill. Um, but it was really interesting when I read this article came out just a couple weeks ago. And uh, it was um, published actually in the um, online publication of the British Medical Journal. And it was a bunch of doctors... Um, that from uh, New Zealand, from the University of Auckland, and they did a meta-analysis. So they gathered, I think it was like 50 or 60 studies from all over the world um, comparing these studies with regards to calcium supplementation or calcium intake from the diet and um, lowered fracture risk or the uh, lowered risk of osteoporosis. And it was really interesting because what they found was very similar trends where they found that Taking higher, like higher doses of um, calcium, calcium supplementation, or increasing your intake of, say, milk or yogurt or cheese during the day, um, doesn't actually protect you more so from fractures or osteoporosis than people just taking a, you know, a um, lower level or just a moderate level of um, calcium through the diet or supplementation. So. The whole idea, I think, where like the National Institutes of Health, you know, recommending anywhere between 1, 1,300, 1,500 milligrams a day, the thought is is that it actually can do more harm than good. Okay, so I heard a couple of things there. One, that getting the calcium into your body didn't necessarily help with osteoporosis and that getting calcium into the body could have a deleterious effect. I heard two things there, right? Yeah, and I'm not, I, I mean, I guess I should clarify that I'm not saying, you know, everyone stop taking their calcium supplementation, but it's the idea of thinking that we need to supplement. You know, I have patients that, that'll come in and, and, you know, they're drinking like three glasses of milk a day and having a yogurt every day and eating, you know, cheese and crackers in, in, in the afternoon thinking that, oh, I really need to, you know, up my calcium intake from dairy specifically, plus they're taking a calcium supplementation of like a thousand milligrams a day. Like that's just way too much. So we're I'm talking more like if you read my blog, I talk about like I'm not saying don't supplement with calcium, but you know, look at other sources of um, calcium through the diet. So for example, you know, leafy greens, almonds, um, some of the seaweeds have high doses of um, <clears throat> calcium. And then if you're going to supplement, you know, supplement like a moderate amount. For example, you know, 500 milligrams, but that's more for, you know, if you have a history of osteoporosis. And then you always want to supplement with um, all of the cofactors, right? 
Okay, so at, supplement by at Natural Factors, do they do y'all have a, a, a calcium supplement? Yeah, so we actually have a really good um, calcium supplement. The um, It's called Osteosem, and it has calcium, magnesium, vitamin D, um, boron, um, all the other cofactors. So I often will recommend that, but I will recommend extra vitamin D. You always have to take extra vitamin D on top of them calcium supplementation and then uh, I always recommend um, the biosil along with it because mm-hmm. there's that really important collagen component to healthy what healthy about cells. vitamin K <laughs> what about vitamin K and absolutely vitamin K too and then um, and then movement <laughs> you know we always forget like you just talked about the standing component but you know weight-bearing exercises walking um, biking yoga Pilates um, you know, I often see so many times I have, you know, elderly patients that come in and, yeah, again, they're taking all this calcium, <laughs> um, but they're leading a very sedentary lifestyle. Yeah, bad news. And when we come back, we'll, we'll, we'll pick this up a little bit more. There's much to say about this business of supplementing with calcium and using the wrong kind of supplements. At CannaVest, we believe that the future of hemp is unlimited, and through innovative and responsible application and science, we will enhance the prosperity and well-being of our customers, employees, and communities. As pioneers, our long-term goal at CannaVest is to locate hemp seed processing mills near to our future family of hemp farmers. These local factories will convert hemp seed into nutritious oil, protein powders, bread flour, and hemp meal. CannaVest supports local efforts and believes that sustainability starts local. Canavest was named one of the Nutritional Outlook's Best of 2014, and we are committed to pioneering the hemp revolution as the world's leading producer of quality hemp-derived CBD products. Resistance to change is in great part the result of trying to do today's job with yesterday's tools and with yesterday's concepts. The hemp revolution is here, and it's up to all of us to change perception and to impact policy. Will you join us in this movement? Learn more about the education and science behind Canavest at Canavest.com. As a family-owned company since 1968, Now Foods has spent the last 46 years building a legacy in the natural health industry as a trusted leader. Now provides a comprehensive approach to wellness by offering more than 1,400 high-quality health foods, supplements, sports nutrition, and personal care products at an affordable price. Now believes that natural is better. They don't use artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, and they offer many vegetarian, organic, and gluten-free products. Their foods are all non-GMO. Since their beginning, Now has grown to become an award-winning leader in the natural health industry. But one thing has never changed, their commitment to providing the highest quality products at the best value to empower people to lead healthier lives. High quality doesn't have to mean high price. From essential oils to amino acids, multivitamins to natural sweeteners, Now has you covered. To find a store near you that carries Now products or for more information, visit nowfoods.com. That's nowfoods.com. Feeling tired after your meal? Occasional gas, bloating, or indigestion at inopportune times? You may have an enzyme deficiency. Did you know that many common digestive discomforts can be caused by poor digestion? When food isn't completely digested, it begins to ferment in the digestive tract, which may cause uncomfortable symptoms. Digest Gold, America's number one selling enzyme product, offers unparalleled support for your digestive needs. It contains exclusive blends of enzymes optimized to be three times stronger and work more than six times faster than other leading digestive supplements. With just one capsule per meal, Digest Gold offers support to break down carbohydrates, fats, fiber, and protein. Enzymedica products are all natural, vegetarian, contain absolutely no fillers, and are vegan and kosher when possible. You'll find Digest Gold and other Enzymedica products at fine health food stores near you. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Murray with a minute of important health news. One of my all-time favorite natural products is a special extract of licorice known as DGL. DGL is short for deglycerizinated licorice, but I tell my patients that it stands for darn good licorice. DGL is made by removing the compound in licorice that can raise blood pressure in some people. Double-blind clinical studies have shown DGL is quite useful in healing stomach and intestinal ulcers. In fact, in head-to-head studies, it has actually outperformed popular anti-ulcer drugs. But 
Rather than inhibit the release of stomach acid, DGL stimulates the normal defense mechanisms that prevent ulcer formation and promote healing. Clinical studies have not only shown DGL to be extremely effective, but also that it is completely without side effects. Clearly, DGL is a better choice. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Form Essentials, makers of the Sleep Aid Solace. Now introducing Zinnia for healthy hair, skin, and nails. Garden of Life, empowering extraordinary health. Canavest, from seed to shelf. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Nature's Dynamics, garden to gummy supplements made by dad. Natural factors, where great health begins. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. As you know, if you listen to the show, I do support and endorse the use of dietary supplements. But I, you often hear me say that sometimes um, dietary supplementation is, uh, how can I put this? <laughs> I'm going to be viewed as a heretic. Um, is overrated, abused, misunderstood, misapplied, and so on. These are compounds. This is chemistry. You have to be thoughtful about what you're doing when you're taking dietary supplements. Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. My guest is Dr. Marita Show. This new study that Dr. Show is talking about from the British Medical Journal, BMJ, calcium study, that, uh, which was a meta-analysis. And if I understand it, Dr. Uh, show, that uh, increasing calcium intake from dietary sources or by taking calcium supplement they said produced small progressive increases in BMD, which they said are unlikely to lead to a clinically significant reduction in the, ri in the risk of fracture. BMD, what is BMD? Uh, body, um, the bone mineral density. Bone, bone mineral density. This is interesting. Uh, by the way, this is not the first study that uh, the British Medical Journal has published uh, cautioning calcium use, by the way. Um, they've done this before. This is an important study. I'm glad you brought it up. Um, explain, explain to the listener why taking the wrong kind of calcium supplement or, or otherwise if the calcium doesn't get absorbed properly, explain the inherent health danger there. Mm -hmm. And they actually allude to that as well. If you, if you read the whole study, read some of the, um, the introduction is they they allude to um, if the calcium doesn't get to where it's supposed to go, um, you know everyone's heard of arterial sclerosis, so hardening of the arteries. So they allude to um, you know the side effects of taking too much calcium or the calcium buildup in the body can um, contribute to arterial sclerosis and eventually um, forms of heart disease. And um, or even things with um, like kidney disease or uh, kidney stones as well. So you know that's why again when I mentioned um, the other bone factors, so vitamin D and magnesium and K2 and um, uh, collagen, uh, all these uh, supplements and essential vitamins and minerals, they they work together to make sure that the calcium is going where it's needed in the body. So it's feeding um, the bones and it's making the bones flexible and it's helping with that bone matrix uh, instead of going elsewhere. And that's because oftentimes these calcium supplements use the wrong kind of form of calcium and they don't have the cofactors. We'll come back to that in a second. But I wanna ask you, does uh, too much malabsorbed calcium, does that cause kidney stones? Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why people get kidney stones. Um, one can be malabsorption. One, one can be dehydration. Um, you know, if you're having too many um, processed foods, refined sugars, um, too much soda, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I mean, a lot of why I think there's a lot of osteoporosis or um, osteopenia uh, is because a lot of times people aren't absorbing their nutrients properly. So again, 
you know, this is, you know, we're talking about gut health. So, yeah. you know, that's another thing that I see a lot yeah. in my um, clinical practice is people are just not able to absorb. They have a lot of digestive issue, issues. They might have reflux. They might have bloating. They might have IBS symptoms. So that's really going to have um, a huge impact on, mm-hmm. you know, how you're going to absorb not just your calcium, but a lot of your other um, nutrients, right? And for those of you who are thinking, well, then I should just go and get a pharmaceutical. In fairness, you know, research, it's supposed to be science, and scientists are not supposed to have an agenda. They're just supposed to report, you know, do the study, report, and let it let the research chips fall where they may. I should point out that in this study, which was a meta-analysis, the authors discuss the, the better effectiveness of, with bone resorptive, dru- resor- resorptive drugs, what they don't do is then mention all of the, the, the different severe and dangerous side effects with that, that are associated with these drugs. And they, they fail to mention that. And they also fail to mention that if you're, on, if you're taking those drugs, you should, it should be for a limited amount of time. Some say no more than five years. So I don't know if they had an agenda and go, and going and doing this study, Doctor Show, but they they do emphasize the importance. It's better than they think. If you correct me if I misread that study to take resorptive drugs. Maybe we're talking about two different studies, but the one that I'm looking at, that's what they talk about. Are we talking about the same study? Are you looking at the one that was just published? Yeah. Yeah. And they're talking about taking this. This was published drugs? September 30th, 2015. The one I'm looking at. Oh, the one that I read was October twenty second. Okay, so this was an this was an even an earlier one. They did the same thing in this study that I'm looking at, and then they turn to and take the drugs. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Obviously, we're not we're not recommending that. <laughs> no, hell no. <laughs> um, no, and and that's. I mean, that's a, that's a really, I mean, that's a a great question too. I mean, I have, you know, just in the last month, I've had multiple women come in, um, that have been diagnosed with osteoporosis, really, you know, um, sitting on the fence about whether or not they should take the pharmaceuticals for their bones because they just, you know, they're really scared that they're going to have a fracture at any moment. Of course. And it's, and it's, and it's a warranted concern, no doubt about it. Oh, this, this is a great conversation. I'm glad you brought this up because there are many people, I get that question all the time. Should I take a calcium supplement? Which one? We come back, I want to ask you, what form of calcium do you like? We'll be right back. Looking for the perfect complement to your beauty regimen? Try Form Essentials Zinnia. The finest of its kind, Zinnia offers twice as much biotin as other formulas, which has proven to unlock the vibrancy in even the dullest of hair, skin, and nails. Zinnia breaks through and rejuvenates cells internally, helping you achieve the allure of effortless beauty. Reviving your hair, skin, and nails has never been easier. This essential blend of biotin, alpha-lipoic, and hyaluronic acid, collagen, and vitamin C creates lasting enhancements to your natural good looks. Don't go on wondering. You're worth the results. This combination of ingredients can only be found in Zinnia. Pamper yourself with a proven bit of affordable luxury and start looking your best. Ask for Zinnia by name at your nearest vitamin retailer to begin your journey to restored nails, head-turning hair, and radiant skin today. For more information, visit formessentials.com. When your alarm goes off, do you jump out of bed with excitement? Or does it take multiple alarms, a few snooze buttons, or a morning caffeine fix to get you going? These habits and daily stress cause a vicious cycle in which sleep becomes increasingly elusive. In fact, 54% of Americans report struggles to fall or stay asleep. For a better night's rest, look no further than Solace, an all-natural dietary supplement that supports healthy sleep and relaxation so you get the rest you need to wake up clear-eyed, alert, and ready for the day. Solace has given thousands a better night's rest and the power to take back their mornings while enjoying the day ahead of them. Solace is formulated with non-addictive, scientifically proven, all-natural ingredients that support sleep and relaxation, such as melatonin, tryptophan, and 5-HTP. 
For more information or to order Solace, visit takesolace.com. Solace for healthy sleep naturally. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Nubian Heritage, humble beginnings, advancing wellness, never tested on animals. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Country Life, a leader and authority in natural health and nutrition. Now Foods, our products work. Nordic Naturals, pure and great tasting omega oils. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition, wherever and however you may be listening or watching and whatever you may be doing. 877-897-8255 is a toll-free number. Please call anytime you want. I'm talking with Dr. Marita show. She raised a very important uh, issue, um, and it, it came up because of a study that came out uh, just recently uh, talking about taking getting dietary... Um, sources of calcium, I guess, and also through supplementation, I think she said, where it didn't necessarily reduce the risk for rip, hip fractures or osteoporosis. Is that what you said, Dr. Shaw? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I just... So increasing, incre it's, it didn't say, like, don't take any any right. supplementation or don't eat any dairy, but it just said, like, 
people that are increasing are thinking they need to have um, higher amounts of of calcium in their diet or supplementation sure. isn't necessarily more protective. Point out, just to give a little context here, of course, calcium is a mineral and um, and it's a, it's it's considered a metal. If you look on the periodic chart, calcium is a metal, right, Dr. Shaw? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's the most abundant mineral in the body. You'll find it in some foods. It's added to other foods. They will add it. It's certainly provided as a dietary supplement and it's found in some medicines such as antacids for example the reason why calcium is so important is because it's required for vascular contraction and vasodilation muscle function nerve transmission intercellular signaling hormonal secretion uh, uh, among other issues and even though it's so critical for all of that only one percent of total body calcium is used to, to support these criti- critical metabolic functions. And your serum calcium, the body regulates it very highly and tightly. I remember taking my anatomy and physiology class. We talked a lot about that. And, um, of course, it's used for good bone health. The remaining 99% of the body's calcium supply is stored in the bones and teeth, hopefully, and not in your arteries. Right, Dr. Show? <laughs> That's right. Uh, let's go to um, Marietta, Georgia. Al, welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Long time no Hello, see. Dr. Gago, this is Al. Yes, I you? know. I recognize your voice. Nice to hear from you, Al. Oh, thank you. Listen, uh, you know, we, we stress uh, our diet, exercise. Oh, those things are all right, and they're fine. But very little emphasis is placed on emotions mm. of an individual. Mm. That takes a heavy toll on your physiology like the immune system your you know calcium and, and the whole works i mean uh, you know we very rarely stress the the importance of emotions like hate vengeance uh, and, and anger so forth, anger so anger anger very much uh, in depletes our minerals and the proteins and whatever in the body well, to a greater extent than uh, even though you may eat right or drink right or exercise but if you have those emotions embedded in you, you are going to have uh, all the effects of it. Well, you know, it's interesting that you uh, bring that up because in ancient Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine and other cultures, uh, their yeah. medical paradigms, they talk about the connection between mind and body, meaning, you know, psychological life, emotional life, and our physiology, our biology, and how the body will will do respond to these different emotions. I'm curious, Dr. Show. you're a naturopathic physician. I know that you probably received some instruction and guidance in that arena, right? A little bit? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think that's such a great point to bring up. Um, that's a big part of our practice as well is the whole mind-body connection. And, you know, I work a lot with stress management and changing people's perception and meditation. And um, so, yeah, absolutely. I think that has a huge bearing on, you know, our, our absorption of nutrients, what vitamins or nutrients we, we um, utilize more, um, and how that affects all the different pathways in the human body. So I think that's a really great point. And even, brought up. And even Al, in our view, Vitic Medicine they will talk about how food is prepared and the different yeah. spices and herbs that are used and how that can affect uh, what's going to happen metabolically in the body. I mean, you know, these ideas are wonderful ideas, sometimes a little absent from traditional uh, allopathic medicine. I'm not criticizing it, but I'm just saying that it's a different paradigm. But you raise a yeah. wonderful you raise a wonderful point. And uh, on the other side of emotions... The flip side, we know that positive emotions, feelings of happiness, feelings of uh, right. feelings of gratitude, uh, empathy, right. compassion, all of these, all, and I report on these studies, also promote good health, though. That's the flip side of that emotional coin, lest we forget that, right? Absolutely. Al, it's always nice to hear your voice and uh, to know that you're still out there in Marietta, Georgia, listening to the show. And you can also watch the show, Al at letstalknutrition.com and the show streams and uh, you can watch as we as we as we air the show. 
Okay, good. Thank you very much, Doc. It's nice to hear your voice, and I wish you and extend the happiest and healthiest uh, holiday season to you and your family, Al. Oh, wish you the same as well, Doc. Thank you so much. Let's go to St. Petersburg, Florida. Bill, welcome to the show. Hi. Before my question, I just wanted to, you were talking about spices and so forth. It seems like Americans are just scared of spices. And then how I started was just going into a health food store, asking them for five or six spices, the best ones I had, and then when I would open a can of Campbell's soup or whatever, <laughs> I would just start sprinkling this stuff all over, and you get yourself familiar with the oregano, the, the turmeric, the, the, all these different things, and uh, yeah. it's not going to hurt you, folks. It's just going to help you, but it'll introduce you to this kind of stuff. And by the way, Americans, they're afraid of it. I, well, they're not oriented in ancient, you know, in Europe and in Eastern cultures. That spices and herbs are essential to to food. And it turns out they have such powerful medicinal properties. Dr. Show can talk about that forever, and your point's well taken. And as a matter of fact, one one of the things I do when I consult with people is certain foods, the vegetables that they don't like, like cruciferous vegetables. I will get them to put spices on these different vegetables, and it seems to mask some of the you know the the smell and and alters the taste, and they start to like the vegetable even more. You know. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and using I use that strategy. It works. We come back. We'll talk to you. I know you have a question about calcium. So hang on, Bill. We'll get to you when we come back. We'll finish. And uh, Dr. Show will be back. And I'll have the LTN health question of the day. And you can win a $25 supplement gift card um, with the right answer. I, I, I encourage you to call the show just like Al did and Bill is doing now. I would love it when you call. Because I want to hear from you, and which you're, I'm, I really appreciate your thoughts and your ideas. Many of you are very thoughtful, well-read, and curious, and that is essential to this show. And you are listening to Let's Talk Nutrition, your place for health and wellness, and we are Coast to Coast. Still looking for your fountain of youth? It's Xenia. Look no further than the beauty aisle of your favorite health and nutrition store. Xenia is the newest product from Form Essentials, the brand that brought you solace. So you know it's filled with the highest quality ingredients. Many cosmetic products only treat topically, while Xenia addresses aging and hair loss from within. Formulated to support the growth of radiant hair, skin, and nails, Xenia is sure to help you turn back the hands of time and assist you in aging gracefully. Xenia provides a spectrum of key vitamins and other evidence-based natural ingredients such as alpha lipoic acid, biotin, collagen, and elastin peptides, all combined in one capsule for your convenience. By promoting beauty from the inside out, you are strengthening your cells and creating a lasting enhancement to your natural beauty. Xenia fits into your daily routine and can be taken to boost your current cosmetic products. Available now at leading health and nutrition stores. Ask for Xenia by name. Start taking Xenia hair, skin, and nails today and get ready to look amazing. Hi, I'm Kate. I try to eat a healthy diet, but the irony of eating healthy foods, like broccoli or beans, is that even though they're healthy for us, they can still cause occasional digestive upsets. That's why I take a DigestSmart high-potency enzyme with every meal. DigestSmart is from Renew Life, the digestive care experts. It's the first digestive enzyme certified by Izyme, the international enzyme testing program. Each capsule provides a full spectrum of 25 powerful plant-based raw enzymes to break down each major food group, including carbs, fats, proteins, and fiber. Digest Smart Enzymes also feature targeted delivery capsules to reach your intestines, where 90% of digestion occurs. Digest Smart promotes more complete breakdown of the foods you eat and optimizes nutrient availability. Plus, it helps ease digestive upsets and supports your overall digestive health. Now that's really smart. Digest Smart is from the makers of Ultimate Flora Probiotics, and both are available in health food stores everywhere. Is your fish oil wildly pure? New Chapter is proud to offer a whole food approach to fish oil, Whole Mega. 
Naturally pure, 100% wild-caught salmon comes from the pristine waters of Alaska. Like extra virgin olive oil, the fresh-caught salmon for Whole Mega is pressed immediately after harvest. And that's all that's needed to deliver Wild Alaskan Salmon's whole complement of vital omega fatty acids. These omegas support your heart health. One serving of Whole Mega per day, two grams, has been clinically shown to help retain healthy triglyceride levels and to improve the omega-3 index, a studied marker of heart health. And did you know experts recommend consuming two to three servings of fish per week? So one week of Whole Mega delivers the omegas of three servings of Wild Alaskan Salmon. Discover the new chapter difference, Wildly Pure Whole Mega. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Available at your local fine health food store. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all natural, high quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at yerbaprima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. When you're passionate about your health, that passion leads to the knowledge that exercise and a healthy diet are not always enough. Sometimes you need the extra nutritional boost that only supplements can provide. If you are looking for the leading national brands of vitamins, supplements, health, and beauty, weight loss, or sports nutrition products, look no further than Vitamin Discount Center. Voted Best Independent Chain by Vitamin Retailer Magazine, Vitamin Discount Center has been a trusted and valuable nutrition resource to the Tampa Bay area for over 15 years. With daily savings up to 50%, Vitamin and Discount Center offers the best prices on the highest quality nutritional supplements. Not only will you find unbeatable value, your visit includes access to a staff educated on the application of products to help equip you with the products and information you need to proactively improve your health. To locate the store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com as well as access to articles on popular health topics, promotions, events, and thousands of products to shop from right at home. Your search for an affordable solution to better health is finally over. Vitamin Discount Center. For life for less. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by A. Vogel, Europe's leading brand of herbal medicine. Nutrix Hawaii, more nutrition, better health, purely Hawaiian. Renew Life, the digestive care company. Enzymetica, the enzyme experts. North American Urban Spice, the only oregano oil you can take on a daily basis. Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. As you know, we just, I just had a call from Al in Marietta, Georgia. I wanted to mention that uh, Let's Talk Nutrition does air in Atlanta, Georgia on WWE 1100 AM on your dial. So we're happy to be in the Atlanta market. Just wanted to mention that. Here's the LTN Health question and support your local radio station, please. Here's the LTN Health question of the day. I was talking about uh, how the uses of calcium in the body and how it's, you know, it's important for vascular contraction, vasodilation, muscle function, tra nerve transmission, and so on. Then I was also talking about how much calcium is stored in bones and teeth, where it supports you know, the structure and function of bones and teeth. Here's the question. How much of the body's calcium supply is in fact stored in your bones and teeth? 1%, 50%, or 99%? What percent of your body's calcium supply is stored in your bones and teeth? 1%, 50%, or 99%? 877-897-8255. My guest is Dr. Marita Show. Let's go back to St. Petersburg, Florida. Bill, you had a question about calcium. Bill. Bill. 
Is he gone? I think he's gone. Sorry. Uh, Dr. Show, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> Thank God you're there. Yeah, he, he actually, it was more of a comment. Um, he, he was mentioning back um, in the 1950s, 60s, the government actually uh, encouraged the, the drinking of milk and putting calcium in bread and all these different products and was wondering if the over-supplementation of it mm. nowadays and just our natural diet is kind of a holdover from when that was kind of a big push back in the day. I remember that. Um, what do you make of that, Dr. Show? Um, sorry, can you say that again? So they were, he was saying that... That back in the 50s and so, the government encouraged the consumption of milk. They were putting, you know, added calcium in foods like bread and whatever, uh, whatever they were adding it to, uh, you know, additional dietary calcium to the, to the food and encouraging people to consume more calcium. I guess he was wondering whether that had a deleterious effect, I, I think he was implying. Oh, I see. So as it like kind of caught up on us. Yeah, yeah, I went, and did, does the government the government still encourages? I don't know about the Canadian government, but I know that they still encourage calcium consumption. Yes. Oh yeah, I mean you see the ads on TV, and you see you know ads in newspapers and magazines. Um, I think, I mean, yeah, maybe some of that is. I think, is it, um, especially when I talk to elderly, like some of my elderly patients, yes. um, they're still kind of in the mindset that, oh, well, I've been told for years and years and years that I need to drink my, you know, three glasses of milk a right. day or whatnot. Right. But, um, but yeah, also, I mean, the, the quality of our food has changed a lot. And what, well. mm -hmm. what's the name of the supplement from Natural Factors? Uh, um, well, they, they have a couple, actually. One, um, there's one from the Women's Sense line that's called OsteoSense Plus, and then they also have their um, Healthy Bone Factors. Healthy. So both of those formulas are actually really, really good. And they use um, mm -hmm. the forms of calcium they use is um, the calcium microcrystalline crystalline hydroxyapatite. Yes. Um, which is, comes directly from, from bone. Um, so they use that form, and then they also use a tricalcium phosphate. Form. Um, so those are really excellent forms of calcium. And then um, I also um, will sometimes recommend calcium um, citrate or malate, which are often found in, in liquid calcium magnesium yes. um, supplements. So if people can't swallow sure. um, pills. Some of the foods that you'll find calcium are sardines, green leafy vegetables, for example. I eat both of those. So, you know. uh, yes. Let's go to Tampa, Florida. And welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. So let's see if you can win this $25 supplement gift card. How much of the body's calcium is actually stored in our bones and teeth? 1%, 50%, or 99%? 99%. Yeah, the other 1% is used for all the different functions I mentioned earlier. Congratulations. Do you take a, uh, do you take a dietary calcium supplement? Yes, I do. I've gotten several at Vitamin Discount Center over the years. Mm -hmm. I kind of vary it. Mm -hmm. So I, it's interesting to hear her uh, you, you uh, talking about it today. Mm -hmm. Are you concerned about osteoporosis? Oh, I, I have it, yes. Oh, you do have it. Sorry yes, to do. hear I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, are you doing okay, though? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I, I uh, watch my diet, and I take supplementation. So, And I do lift weights and walk and do all those things. One, yes, resistance, yeah. resistance exercises, yes. I love it. Oh, Makes good for you. Strong. Good for you, Ann. <laughs> Makes well, you feel strong and healthy when I lifting weights. I know. It's, it's great to hear you say that. I'm, great. I'm glad that you're Wonderful. doing that. Well, thank you for calling. Thank you for uh, answering the question today. And have a happy and healthy holiday, you and your family. You too. I listen all the time. We, we thank you so much for that. We appreciate your listenership. Uh, do you worry about osteoporosis, Dr. Show, for yourself? Um, you know what? I don't. I don't want to say I worry about it. I mean, I think I, I live a very uh, active lifestyle. Um, I run. I do lift weights. Um, you know, I eat a lot of greens. Uh, I actually don't take a calcium supplement, but I take, you know, vitamin D, K2, and magnesium. Um, my mom actually has osteoporosis oh. as well. Uh, so it is in my, my family history. But um, you know what? My mom's going strong. She, you know, we go to the gym together. She walks oh. every day. Oh, how nice. Um, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't think she's, she just turned 71 and good. you would never guess that she's 71. Well, good, good. So, I'm, yeah, you're a good daughter. 
take your mom to the gym. That's that good. Good for you. Well, it's always nice to see you on the radio again uh, and uh, to talk with you. And I know you wanted the listener and the viewer doesn't know this. You wanted to talk about something totally different, but it, the show is there's an emergent quality. We got into the calcium, and it was such a good topic. We just developed that, which is okay, right? <laughs> Well, you know what? It still has a women's health kind of curve to it. So, sure it does. You know. <laughs> and uh, mention those uh, natural factors products again. Yeah, so we talked about the Osteosense Plus, um, the healthy bone factors, and we also talked about um, biofill as well, the collagen support. Yeah, and, and also get your vitamin D3 and your vitamin K2, and Natural Factors has those as well. And uh, again, when you're buying supplements, especially calcium supplements for example please 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 resist the temptation to buy some off brand where you get a giant bucket full for two bucks no don't do that there's a reason why it's so cheap you want a high grade solid wonderful product like natural factors has and that's what you need to do after all your health is your wealth and your health is the wealth of those that care about and love you